apparently all roads just lead to moose grinding. But I guess the good news is, in a week, eight days, we should have at least a new gun to moose grind with. So for now, we're going to keep working on it, keep on trying to get some respawns. I feel like it would be a really cool almost send off for the 300 to get a great one moose with that. So maybe that'll be a thing, but I'm not exactly going to hold my breath for that level of luck. We'll see what happens though. What's up, Amazing Pizza? Breeze in here. Uh, Bow Hunter's in here. Fellow PA Hunter. What's going on, man? What will the gun be? The 338 bolt action from the high power pack that got revealed on stream last week. That, I believe, is going to be like the meta moose grinding bear grinding gun. Probably the kind of meta grinding gun in general. I do find that since the Red Deer Great One came out, a lot of people will just grind with the best gun. And up until we're up two, like next week, the 300 has been and will continue to be for another week, the best gun. A lot of people grinded Red Deer with the 300, so the 338 is probably going to be a mainstay in a lot of loadouts, and I'm actually excited for it. I think it's going to be fun. Missed the last stream, so I'm glad to catch this one. Glad you can make it in. Hopefully it'll be a good one. We'll see if we can, you know, not spook our moose before we get to see him. He may or may not end up where we're going, so maybe... Unless he ends up broadside. I doubt the 338 makes a big difference in these scenarios, by the way. I haven't tested it, but I'm assuming, much like the 300, you wouldn't be able to get a kill shot, say, with a flesh hit. We'll just fast travel by him. If he ends up coming to us, that's all good. What do you think EW is revealing tomorrow? That's a great question. So Beard did say that the weapons, the bolt action 7mm, the bolt action 338, those are not the game-changing things he's been referring to. It's like, what's game-changing, right? And I was thinking, like... You know, could they be re reworking the zone system? Could they... Could they finally add my age system in? I certainly doubt that, but... <laughs> a boy can dream, I guess. Would we have... Yeah, it wouldn't be the age system, actually, because we would have seen that. Because he's on the beta build. Never mind. Probably not a rework of the zone system, either, because we also would have seen that. What would he be able to hide? It's almost got to be... Like... Item-related or something? Uh, McDonald's, thank you for the super chat. Let's get this hunt started. Uh, I'm, I'm loving it. <laughs> There's three weapons. Yes, the 308 bolt action is the other one. I didn't mention that one because I don't think it becomes like a meta defining weapon in the same way that the other two most likely will. Gonna be a good gun. It's gonna be, I think, good for the whatever percentage of people that didn't like the idea of adding ARs. Because the 308 is a great caliber, and what we saw on stream from the 308, it seems to be better than the AR. So, there's that too, but the recoil and stuff is really what makes the current 308 as good as it is. Feeders, maybe? Ah, they'd be able to hide that. That could be. That would be game-changing. Maybe you're on to something there. Maybe a weapon bipod? As long as they don't do it like the, <laughs> the 7mm mod 8 in Classic. I love the gun. It's a great caliber. But forcing you to use the bipod when you're prone every time just makes me sad. You try the Mississippi Pixel Cam on one of your guns. It looks incredible. Uh, that one. I'm assuming that's the only Pixel one I can think of. I quite like it. How many kinds of bows do you go hunting with when deer hunting? Uh, if I understand your question right, just one. This year maybe is going to be two. My sister and her fiance got me a recurve bow for my birthday i've not messed with it like at all so i gotta start to practice with it if i want to use it this year but i think that'd be fun and i have shot there with a crossbow when i was like 14 so three i guess if you go all the way back is the recurve worth buying the weapon pack itself i would say is because in with it is the crossbow which is fun the recurve's great, uh, you know, fun weapon to use, but not exactly something that's going to make your hunts, like, it's not going to make you better at hunting. It can challenge you and stuff, but it, it's not in the same category as something like, as we're mentioning, the 338 and 7 mil. The 22, though, it being in that pack makes the weapon pack itself worth buying, and then as for the recurve itself... Um, I believe it's free, like, with, like, the in-game aspect, so you buy the weapon pack, you can just get it. So I'm assuming you're asking about the pack itself. Uh, got my Great One Moose on Yukon in January, nice. I wish I could say the same. Yukon's a cool idea. I sort of regret not going to Yukon, but I just thought, 
we had, it was this lake actually, we had our albino diamond moose, it was right over, where did I see him? I think he went past this tree right here if I recall, or possibly that one. I was hoping, because we're bound to kill hundreds if not thousands of moose, that maybe we could get a super rare and it would be a little bit of nostalgia, a little bit of, you know, getting to actually put a super rare moose in the lodge since we shot ours prior to lodges. But, you know, here we are still grinding. Watching you while doing schoolwork. Well, I appreciate you tuning in. I want to see you use that recurve. Maybe for something that's not moose grinding. Uh, you helped me so much when I started the game last, last year. That's awesome, man. Always glad when the videos and streams and such can be helpful. Sounds good, Charlie. Uh, 300 is better than 338 in game and I will die on this hill? Should we test that stuff today? Why not? There's going to be situations where we can only kill one moose. What is the quick kill? Oh, get out of my way. Why? <laughs> that was mean. Hang on. Now I gotta focus because I can't shoot and talk at the same time. Come on. Well, I think we got a vital. Anyway. Do you get quick kill when you single along a moose with a 300? Because it... Well, okay. Okay. Do you get not 100% quick kill, but above zero? Because that's the best way to test. Uh, what's up, Joe? Weekend was good, man. Um, as you know, picked up my buck Friday night, so I've just been, you know, every time I walk down the stairs, staring at that a little bit. Saturday, what we do Saturday? Felt like we did something, but either way. Sunday, I, uh, aka yesterday, spent time with my parents hanging out. We were watching through, like, old hunting videos. In 2006, we had a bunch of really nice bucks around. This is before I was hunting. My first year hunting was 07. And Dad filmed a bunch of them from the tower stand in the summer. So we were just, I think it's basically hunting withdrawals. We were just watching all kinds of old hunting stuff, wishing that we could go climbing a stand, but it was good times. Favorite music artist? It's a good question. Mm, I quite like Luke Combs. Probably go with him. Should I buy the 300 away for the power pack? Uh, at this stage? Unless you have, like, you know, plenty of expendable in-game money, I would just wait for the power pack. Because, say you're sitting on, like, 60k and you're almost to where you can afford the 300, I believe the power pack weapons will be free in-game, so I think you're better off doing it that way. Hunting withdrawal is for sure real, it really is. It takes, you know, a month or two, usually for me, like, you know, sleeping in on weekends and having a little more free time in the evenings, mornings, whatever it is, but it doesn't take long and I'm starting to wish I could just head back out. Have you ever heard of Flair? Uh, he does, like, hunting content gun related stuff, right? Last night, one of the machines at work caught fire within a half hour starting this shift, so that was fun. Did you get to go home? What's up, JC? I'm doing good, man. How about you? Think there's a chance of boats to travel in? Like, in the category of ATVs where you can physically get in it and maneuver yourself or more like fast travel across water boats? Should I buy the 470 to get a diamond cape? I would go with the 300 if you have it, the 338 if you have it, or if you don't have either of those, just wait until the power pack comes out next week and get the 338 from there. Okay. I'm going to try to purposely get a single lung, and I promise I'll hit everything. I'll get liver, stomach, or something, because that's what happens when I try to get single lung. Hopefully, it's just going to be that, because I want to compare 300 to 338. Good chance that I'll hit, like, a shoulder or something and screw this up, but we'll do some testing today. What's up, Dustin? Which one is better, in your opinion, New England Mountains or Reventuli? Oh, I take it. I'll take Reventuli 100 times out of 100. New England, like, I really... I almost feel bad because I was actually pretty hyped for it and I think that maybe I was just off the mark on what it was going to be because in my opinion it was supposed to be good for this time like I thought when it comes out you know great one moose is more interesting uh people like myself who still had diamonds they hadn't yet found on Riven to the coast they could focus on that and down the road when you get to February March April while we're waiting for new maps to come out then I thought New England would be really appealing, but I just have no desire to go there at all. Do you get free content? As in, like, the DLCs and stuff? Typically, yes. If, basically, anytime you see somebody in early access for anything in-game in such as this, 
there's a key provided that unlocks the thing in early access and uh, that it carries over to the live game as well. Okay, 56% with a left scapula and left lung shot at 136 meters. Will I be, will I be, will I be remembering those numbers? Probably not, but I'm gonna grab the 338 too. Sot Space Cowboy. Will you do a buckshot only hunt? Maybe not buckshot only, but that was a weird way to say that. Maybe not buckshot only, but like shotguns only could be a thing. All right, let's ditch. I don't need that or that. Uh, will that suffice? Where even is it? There we go. And of course it can't be orange. Oh. I will do the digital camo though, because if they look the same, I'm going to get confused and use the wrong gun. Derek Carr just got traded. Did he officially get traded? I saw that like they were working out a deal or something. That actually kind of works. I like that. Maybe that does... No, it doesn't. The new one doesn't have a thing. Either way. Let's go see if we can get one. Probably going to be multiple here, so we'll actually more than likely end up going 300 anyway, but when we get a solo bowl tested and kind of see what the difference looks like. The good news is these thousand rounds that I bought, like, I don't know, four years ago, we can finally use up when the 338 comes out. What's up, bottom boy? Will I be, will I be, or will I not to be? That is the question. How much the new gun's gonna cost? Uh, the weapon pack itself, like the real money side of things, should be $399 US. Uh, in-game cash, I don't think they'll cost anything. Typically, if you buy a weapon pack, you don't have to then use in-game money to purchase the weapons. I think what happened was, we were in render of these moose when we were standing here, fast traveled, and they spooked, so. Actually, this might work. A lot of times there's a solo bowl here. This could be a good chance to test that. My cousin's buck that he took last December was with Buckshot. And when we were cleaning it, we found three or four pellets scattered around in the meat. They're... It's insane the power they have. Like, I don't think any game... Classic does okay. But I can't remember ever playing a hunting game that actually... Simulates well what Buckshot does. When are you going to get early access to the new weapons? Uh... I don't know. If they do early access, I'd imagine that would be sometime late this week because it's next Tuesday is the release, I believe. Are you ever going to play Cabela's Big Game Hunter Pro Hunts? Never say never. I was just looking at it today, uh, <laughs> weirdly enough. So maybe I'll mess with it, but it's just tough. Like we, we have Classic, we have Way the Hunter, we have Call of the Wild, the Farming Sim streams on Sundays. It's tough to kind of move things around and still, you know, deliver on content that people want to see every week. Like, weekly classic streams. We have one weekly classic video. All that stuff is a little harder to do when we're moving one video out of there to put a Pro Hunts, for instance, video out. Um, well, the lack of bull moose that I thought was going to be here is going to put a damper on things. If you're asking Sean, like, what the price of any individual map is, Nate has the answer for you there. If you're asking, in total, how many DLC maps are there? Ten? There's two main ones. So there'd be... Ten or eleven, I just struggled to count. What I would do, if you're trying to buy them all, is wait for a sale. They're bound to go on sale. They may be on sale now. What's up, Colton? Hope your day is going good. What else do you think the update will bring besides the new weapons? Yeah, we were trying to trying to come up with ideas just a couple minutes ago here. I can't think of anything because I realized it would have to be like item related or something like that because Beard is on like when he's doing these streams. He's on the build that would have it. So it can't be like it's not a rework of zones or anything like that. Because we would see that on the streams. Or you would think it would be visible. So, like, what would be game-changing? This weapons and not the guns. Or not this weapons, but items, I guess, I mean. I just don't know. Uh, so thoughts on a mostly predator map in Africa? As a biologist, there's so many ways they could go. I think that could kind of work. If, if it were me... If I were in charge of making another map based in Africa, there's a couple of things I would definitely do. 
Greater Kudu have to be on the list, because Lesser Kudu on Verhunga were like disappointment number one for the community, you know, at large. We, I, I want to say, like we kind of knew they were Kudu, maybe from the, the trailer. I don't know that they said they were like Lesser Kudu, that they may have just said Kudu, or they maybe didn't have a voiceover for that one. So when we found out they were Lesser Kudu, a lot of people were kind of disappointed with that. I would at least try to get one other big five animal in there. I think elephants are out. I don't think they, they would do that. We have lions. We have Cape Buffalo. So you've got rhinos and you've got leopard. Leopard would be amazing. And it also fits the storyline that they went to on Verhunga. Because if you remember, if you've done the Verhunga missions, the like rhino poaching stuff, all that kind of stuff was a part of the mission. So they'd probably steer clear of that too. Have no fear. Soup Boy is here. Are you still sad? I don't know why I'm saying you're sad. Leopard would be a super neat addition. I'd like it. I'll never forget to, like, I, I was genuinely convinced that's what we were getting when we got lions. And, like, don't get me wrong. The lions were a, a great idea. I just didn't think they'd do them. They, if you remember the first hint, there's that big rock, a lot of people call it Pride Rock, just north of the starting outpost on Berhunga. On top of that was a... Springbuck carcass with like the the ribs exposed and stuff that was obviously fed on by a predator and drug up there by a predator It was like We're getting leopards like that's the kind of thing a leopard would do But obviously it ends up being lions hyenas would be a good one, too. I like it That's kind of game-changing breed the dogs who follow tracks other than blood has beard used his dog at all on streams Do you think they should there should be a revamp to the true score for antler species yes um, I'm generally, I I'm glad that it's like not standardized. I'm not in favor of standardized scoring systems in any hunting game. It's good for like newer players or people who aren't well versed in hunting, but I, I think probably it'd be interesting to do the, the, uh, like surveys and stuff on this, but I would assume the like hardcore thousands of hour player base typically would be someone who's familiar with hunting or even still if they're going to play that much they'll be able to learn those things anyway so i'd love if they went to a boon and crockett system that's what classic does and i guess to really be able to reach the level that classic's at you'd have to almost remove the medals because i can't explain it like way the hunter kind of has the same problem call the wild does and I find Way the Hunter way more similar to the Hunter Classic, but you've still got that thing where the game has an arbitrary number they've chosen as what's a big, like, trophy animal. In Call of the Wild, it's diamonds. In Way the Hunter, it's five stars. In Classic, it's like, hey, that one scored better than my last one. That's my, you know, I want to mount that. I want to take a trophy shot. That's my new best. It just doesn't quite have that same like arbitrary number thing it's just whatever like is a trophy to you and it's amazing how that works like i've never played a game that's quite like that all right what did i say 136 meters i gotta get myself to pay somewhat amount of attention so i can do this right 136 meters it was 50 55 56 odd percent quick kill single lung if at all possible with the right gun would be a good idea here I hit the shoulder blade too. I think we did basically the exact same shot. So, let's see what the quick kill is. I ain't gonna lie, it wasn't significantly faster, if at all faster. Is there a new lodge? Um, I don't think anything's been talked about there, unless you're suggesting maybe that's the, uh, the game-changing thing. I don't even know that that would be game-changing, really. I mean, I guess if it was really good. Way the Hunter's Lodges are really good, and I, I do quite like them. What's up, Caleb? Finally able to catch one of your streams. Glad you make it in, man. What is your profile pic? Looks like a trail cam uh, image of a monster. Jaxie said no new lodge. Oh. Well, never mind then. What if EW made every max level 1,000 and the rankings were the same score, so it was easier to remember what diamond is for everything? Wait. Oh. <laughs> I get it now. 
What is your real name besides Flinter? Uh, well... My actual name is Thomas, but nobody calls me that. Because I'm a junior, so it's just TJ. Alright. We were- it was 20 meters further. We did not hit the shoulder blade, which actually from that angle we'd have had a hard time getting the lung and the shoulder blade. Quick kill is 60%. In theory, if we're 20 meters closer, I don't know if like the shoulder blade- I think that would still do like a tiny bit of damage. In theory, maybe we're at 65% quick kill, which would make the 338 better. Is it so much better that, you know, it's gonna be an absolute game changer for a moose? Probably not, but say you save 10% quick kill for every single long shot. What is that? Maybe 10 meters of tracking? Do that for 100 moose? Now you've run one less kilometer. Do that for 1,000 moose, which is very feasible on these grinds. That's 10 less kilometers. That starts to actually save some considerable time. His real name is Flancho? You're right. Is Flunt? That too. Fine, be that way, Jaxie. Don't give us new lodges then. We have to purchase the gun in the pack, or will it be like the AR pack where you buy the pack and you get the gun? It should be like the AR pack. You'll have to, like, it'll be a free purchase. Like, it'll be in the store, but the price will be free. I think that's how it's going to work. Just grind with the 300 and 338 so when there's a bunch, you have two powerful guns. I mean, you could do that now with both 300s, but because of the customization thing, you would not be able to do that with two 338s. There's only going to be one variant of each. Which I really want to see like what the customized ones look like. I don't much care for the greenish color that the base 338 is going to have. I'm going to try this again. It's more like the angle we took the first time. He reacted. Did that hit? It did. Acted funny. Uh, I love the 300 huge, huge range and has a clip. Well, the 338 that's coming out is actually going to... There's two things. The range should be the same. It's also... I think it's got a clip, right? It's not, it's not a bolt action where you load through the top. Now I don't remember. The 7 mil has a clip. I'm pretty sure the 338 did. But also, it's a 5 round mag. Which, that can make a big difference. You know, you say you're shooting three things and you mess up the third shot. Now you've got two extras to make up for it. They need to add more two to four guns. Yes, class three is lacking for sure. And I didn't say class eight and nine is lacking, but the, the new 7mm and 338 will kind of be out of there. Like, the calibers are there. We have them. I understand why some people are maybe disappointed with that, but, like, they are some of, if not the best calibers in the game. So put them into bolt action rifles. The guns themselves are going to be up there. Uh, 7 mil is the bolt action, whereas the 338 has the mag. Gotcha. What's up, Mel? Alright, we did... Okay, we still didn't get the shoulder blade, but... Oh, that was 48% quick kill, so that ends up being lower. Is the 338 really any different than the 300, then? In theory, too, because, like... If we take exactly what Jax Beard said uh, on stream, the ballistics and stuff are mostly based on the ammo, but not entirely. So, the gun still could make a difference there, too. I think the 6.5 should be a 3. I'm with you. I, If they don't change the actual power and stuff of the gun, then I think it should be a 3. It should actually just be a little bit more powerful, and it can fit in 4 to 8, but we need some more 3s anyway. Favorite great one of, like, all the possibilities that are out there? I want, if I could, like, you know, Amazon order a great one. I would want an oak fur type moose with the, it's like the super typical lighter colored rack. I just think that would look incredible. Least favorite gun in the game, 470. That's as bad as I've ever seen this. Like, I, the seat will float away from the tripod all the time, but that's really far. Anyway, the 470 isn't weak per se, but it, it's a letdown compared to what you'd expect it to be. So does the 338 have a clip instead of break action? Yes. It's going to be a five round mag. That is why I am of the opinion, at least, it's going to be a mainstay in basically any grinding loadout. Still waiting for a mule deer collar that's more than 150. Yeah, I don't really know why, why they haven't 
done that spine shot on that guy, I think. I got Mamazon Moose in the birch with the light color rack. Birch looks good too. I really do like the birch. Use the 470 today to get a diamond water buffalo. Anytime I get, because I, I think I'd, I maybe only have one diamond with it and it's also a water buffalo, but it feels like such a accomplishment because it just, it's not what I would like it to be. Why is he not on Twitch? Uh, I'm hiding. They should add a scope pack DLC. That wouldn't be a bad idea. Different reticles, stuff like that. They could even, if they really wanted to just go for it, they could give us, yeah, multiple scopes, I guess, with different zooms, and then just let us customize the reticles, kind of like you can do with the red dot site now. Use the 470 today on Moose. I mean, we can. Silencers. That actually, that could be game changing. I don't want them to do that in the game changing sense. And honestly, like they've, they've reworked the audio so many times. Big guns aren't as loud as they used to be. Because the only thing I really want silencers for is for our ear purposes. I don't want it to make the animals spook less. Hope the update is bipods, as long as they're optional. There's a bipod on the 7mm Mod 8 in Hunter Classic, and when you're prone, you're forced to use it, the game just auto-deploys it, and boy does it cause problems. <laughs> you get all ca if you're on anything less than perfectly level terrain, you're gonna be like aiming at the sky or aiming at the ground two feet away. So if they make it optional, that could be really cool. I hate that I always crave a smoothie when you're streaming. I mean, you can make a smoothie, I don't care. Instead of asking what you think will be on the update, how about you say what you want the update to bring slash change? That's a good question. What do I want the game changing thing to be? Well, I said the age system thing before, and I know it's not that, because as I said, in the streams Jaxie's doing, he's on the build that's gonna be the new update. I imagine there's gonna be tweaks to it, but like there isn't, you know, you don't see age six to eight years on a whitetail, so it's not that. I really do wish they'd do it though. I'd love if animals in the game had an age. It just, it adds another factor of, of realism. So beyond that, what do I want that would be game changing? A rework, you know what? Not even a rework of the zones. Also, it's not this because we've seen animals in zones. What if they just wiped out zones? I know it's nice to be able to find animals where you expect them to be, but it, it renders huge chunks of the map pointless. Like, I don't go, I don't go up here. I don't go anywhere up here. I go where the lakes are. And, and I think most people play the game that way. It would be kind of nice if we didn't have you know, huge chunks of what are very nice maps. Kind of pointless to bother. <laughs> All right, Chad, ignore the blender. Everybody, brace yourself. It's not for me. Uh, the hunting's going all right so far. We haven't... I don't think we've missed any shots. <laughs> That's a plus. No zones would be ideal. I know, like, I always feel bad when I do this, right? I even purposely omitted, like, classic when I said remove zones. Because I, I will often get the comment... You just wanted to be like Classic, go play Classic. Like, okay, fair. <laughs> but, I think, and a lot of people think, Classic is the best hunting game ever made, so if you make it more like Classic, that could be a good thing. <laughs> I guess Kyla was the reason for the bark. Uh, favorite species hunt in the game? I love hunting gray wolves. I actually think that's one of the most fun things in this game. Would love to see Retrievers? I'm shocked that we don't have Retrievers. I thought Revan Tuli Coast Waterfowl Rework was going to be a catalyst for... A retriever uh, DLC maybe in last September? Could that be? I mean, there's no way it's with this, right? What was Bloodhounds? It was the Bloodhounds themselves and Blackbuck Truax, I think. I don't think they would do Bloodhounds, or, or sorry, Retrievers and a gun pack. I like that. I would love Retrievers. I quite get annoyed by having to run around and find keys that I can't locate. What's up, Graham? Speaking of waterfowl hunting. I'd love to see smaller deer like fawns. I do think that would help with the realism. One of the struggles with that is 
there's a disconnect in the timing. So, if you're hunting, say, on Lake Lakes, white-tailed deer that have shed their velvet, and in theory you're hunting them, like, in the fall, at best you would just have what appear to be does that are physically smaller, like their spots will be gone, and button bucks. So I wouldn't mind if they did that. The thing you kind of got to consider with it, though, by the way, this... Our, our ideas can go together here. The, the aging system I mentioned would kind of work. Um, but if you made them, you know, let's say they, they were spotted fonts and the game said, like, you can't shoot those, they're just there. Then the game has to render them and everything. And it's just an extra thing that's kind of not all that important. But if they were just, like, six-month-old deer that you were allowed to shoot, I don't hate it. We could kind of... Combine our ideas. These bodyguards. They think they're funny. Should have picked a different one. Not anything to do with camo either. Hmm. I sensed waterfowl talk, but I can see a retriever right now. He's laying on the floor. Will he pick up my geese for me? How many moose down on the grind? A little over 1,500. I've had a hard time keeping track of this one because I've been so sporadic with my grinding. But I guess in the end, the number's not all that important anyway. See, they should do that. Young animals you can't shoot, like how it was with the reindeer for the missions where you couldn't shoot that herd. But, like... What the... Okay. <laughs> In areas where, um... Where there's a lot of animals, you'd experience lag unnecessarily due to the game having to render in fawns, too. If they could optimize the game better and it wouldn't be an issue, I'd be more in favor of it. Smoked them. Never seen a goose in his life, only ducks? Eh, you know, same thing. Gonna cast a spell that will spawn a great one for the stream. I'm a wizard? Dude, I would, uh... I'd pay you $12. If you Harry Pottered me a, a curry one moose. Should I hunt in the valley for moose? Does in the valley mean, like, where I'm at now? Or do you mean the crater? Where... I lost sight of that one. There's one there. <laughs> Blender time. Surprised we didn't get a semi-auto 12 gauge with Revan Thule. Yeah, um, and, and Classic had... I hate to keep <laughs> bringing up Classic. Classic had finally just added one. For a long time, I think for game balance reasons, they didn't do it. There was the 12 gauge pump, there was an over-under, a side-by-side, -side, a 10 gauge lever action, but they never did a semi-auto 12 gauge. Finally, they did it. And it was actually, like, really nice. It was a really good gun. And I I don't think Call of the Wild has a lot of game balance things to worry about. Like, they... There's balancing they have to do, but... They don't have to take it as seriously. Just because of, like, it's a more arcade style game anyway. I think they should do it. What's up, Dylan? I'm doing good, man. How about you? It's so nice listening to your voice. Why, thank you. The blender noise is so obnoxious. If only Shadow could have shut the door on her way out, that would have been nice. Do you think electric call should be a thing? It would be cool, but... I'd be interested to know. I wonder what the percentage of Call of the Wild players that use callers, like, on a per-hunt basis is. Because I bet it's less than, like, 20%. Again, just the way Call of the Wild is designed with drink zones and repeatability in... in finding those animals in their zones and consistency of finding those animals in their zones, you just don't need callers unless you're using, say, like a bow or something like that. There's times when callers can make things more simplistic, you know, if you have a great one moose and you're nervous, call it into 50 meters and make that shot, but I, I just, I like the realism, I like having a bunch of gear in the games and stuff, I don't know that it would be worth the time, sadly. Use collars constantly? Maybe I'm just in the minority here. <laughs> Have you used a collar exactly once in this game? I don't know the last time I called some. Get rid of zones, make calls necessary for once. See? I'd be more in favor of that. Bear baiting. I kind of like the bear barrels. See what you guys are doing to me? <laughs> the bear barrels in Classic are so much fun. I don't want deer feeders, because finding enough deer in this game is easy enough. 
But I think bears in general, eh, I wouldn't mind it. Never use callers, use callers a lot, never use calls. Maybe it's closer to 50-50 than I thought. In that case, it would be worth it, in my opinion. Have used callers in the game like three years, only time I do is if I'm filling a realistic turkey hunt. That might be the last time I did too. Been a while since I've played, but callers are always somewhat broken. Animals not coming in, water breaking the call. Water? Oh, you mean like an animal's approaching and runs into water and then just stands there? Should do a pull. If I knew how to, well, actually, the way that OBS does it, it won't log me in, so I can't even chat through my own thing, but if I knew how to set that up quickly. The Maisto in Classic is so good, bought it two days ago already at 200 kills. Nice. We need hippos and yaks. Where would yaks fit? I don't know where those are at. I'd, obviously, hippos would be in Africa. Pro Strim? Yes. We can bait deer in Louisiana, so I'd be in favor of it. The way I see it, working basically is a man-made feed zone that herds have a chance of using. I guess it wouldn't be that different than finding a big zone. If it was... Here's the way I'd like it. Pick a random herd on the map. That herd goes to the zone. Or, or goes to the feeder. I wouldn't want, say, three herds at one feeder. That would be bad. That would be... Game balance strugs. Yeah, I got you, Army. And again, going back to it, you generally spend most of your time around water, so you run into that often a lot. Often a lot. Events a lot. Situation a lot. I don't know what just happened in my head. Yaks in the Himalayas? Wait, can I have Marco Polo sheep then? Why isn't Super Mod yet? I kind of thought we did that. I don't know. We'll fix that after the stream. Replace zones with feeders? I'm guessing you're going down the remove zones line. Yeah, do it like classic, again. Limit how many feeders you can put on the map, so you can't have 50. Um, that could work too. I did it in Discord, I swear, like, I thought his name was like, maybe he was a member for a while and I just thought he was a mod the whole time. Gotta eat lunch here in a second, no worries. Go 338 again just for the funsies. I do want to keep on... Oh, there's actually... Never mind. It's hard <laughs> hard to tell, but there is a second bull back there. But I want to keep on paying attention to quick kill where we can. Well, didn't matter because he ran so fast. I think they go this way. They kind of like get up into these rocks. Where is the small lad? There he is. Could have been too high? Nah, it's a lung. Good. Alright, so there's one... One that was standing here, which I never did see another track of. Come on, Sir 12, I need help. If I become a YouTube mod, do I have to behave? A little bit. You could have any new gun in the game, what would it be? I'd like a 7mm mod 8 since I used that in real life, but... I'm not like... I'm not really you know, looking for a certain caliber to be added to the game at this point. Mostly because what we have for the main animal classes are so good already, and with the high power pack coming, that just kind of takes it even further. Food plots? I've always wanted a game sort of like Way the Hunter where you can manage your herds, but also where you can manage the property. Put in food plots, uh, hinge cuts for bedding and stuff. Like, work to not only improve the herds, but also improve, like, the allure of the property to those herds so they hang around, so, you know, more show up and stuff. I don't know if you could do food plots in Call of the Wild. Well, not that you couldn't. I don't know that they would add food plots to Call of the Wild because there would be some degree of, like, map changing... Like, there would have to be graphical stuff going on, which I don't assume they would do, but you never know. Shoot a great one with Birdshot? You can find one of the people that have 40 and see if they'll do it. Think about a horse to ride. Maybe, uh... 
Maybe one day. I've always had a hard time deciding if I think that's a good idea. Because one of the things, and we already have so many tents and stuff you can fast travel around, one of the, like, limiting factors of Call of the Wild, and I mean this in a good way, one of the things that, like, prevents you from just finding a million trophies is that you have to traverse kind of slowly, or you take the ADV, traverse quickly, but spook everything. A horse would have to be somewhere in the middle, like it would have to be quieter than an ATV, obviously. And it would have to be slower than an ATV, but faster than running. And I'm just not sure where that balance is. If they could balance it right to where it doesn't, you know, make you... Maybe if you can cover like one and a half times the amount of ground in the same amount of time. I wouldn't hate that. It's really hard to like, verbalize what I'm thinking here. Got a gold piebald moose, nice. Reminds of you, 2005. That's literally, as I'm talking that out, that animation is what I'm thinking of. Make me a developer? Do I have to work? Potential dumb question, but is 12 just your favorite number? I feel like 12 has to be my favorite number now, but um, that's not why it became a thing. The origin story behind 12 is... Basically, it stems from the terms of service for Discord, which requires you to be 13 years old to have an account. My youngest moderator, like, I don't know what this is, five years ago now, he was like 17 or something, but we used to just joke around with him and say that he was 12, aka, like, you know, you're young, you're too young to even have a Discord account, even though that wasn't true. But that wasn't funny enough to make 12 a huge thing. <laughs> what happened was, he played into the joke, said that he was 12 in, like, a public chat somewhere, and someone that I'm sure he had taken some moderating action against at some stage took a screenshot of that, sent it to uh, somewhere in Discord, reported him, and got his account banned. That's why 12 became a thing. And that night, literally that night, I shot a 12 scoring, which is the minimum score, Plains Bison, which I found really funny. <laughs> That's really where it came from. Hanging mox scrape, scrapes and trail cams could be fun. Trail cams would be so hard to get right, but if they could do it, it could be, it could be really like a, another neat facet of the game. The 12 meme is better when you don't explain it and just say 12 is 12. Yeah, but that's not the satisfying answer people want. It's only better for you because you know the story. Do you think they should add a carbon material for a gun customization? I like it. Excuse me, sir. Are you oblivious? You didn't even know the backstory? It's because you're 12. Oh, no, it definitely does not mean that, Dylan. I was trying to find that. Other than a new African map, what other location would you want Call of the Wild to add? I think Greenland would be really cool. You look at the, um, the unused areas. Greenland, parts of Canada, Asia, and Northern Africa, and Australia is about all that's left. If you had... Muskox? I think you could probably kind of get Arctic Wolves, Arctic Fox into there. You'd have, would it be Barren Ground Caribou, I think? And there was one other species that would be new. It's escaping me at the moment. Maybe Ptarmigan of some kind? But yeah, I, I just think that'd be cool. Nice to be able to unlock skins for the guns, like 2005. Yeah, I don't love that they just come with DLCs. It would be cool if there was, like, uh, you know, some sort of diamond skin for when you get your first diamond and things like that. Great one skin? You know, how, how's that not a thing yet? They have leaned into great ones as a concept so much. Oh, that was rough. Ooh. <laughs> For once, I did something good. Uh, do you think fishing or swimming should be in Call of the Wild? They have Call of the Wild the Angler for the fishing side of things. Um, swimming, I wouldn't mind. This is where that uh, barrier between realism and fun can kind of come up. If you were hunting in real life and you come across a raging river 
and you've already got an unnecessarily and probably unrealistic amount of guns on you, like having three guns thrown over your shoulder, what you're not going to do is swim across the river. <laughs> you're going to find another way around. But do I really want to have to run around a deep river in a hunting game? No. So let me swim. I, I think that'd be a good idea. I'm mailing you 12 wedding presents. Is it going to be like the 12 days of Christmas? How many different moose racks for great ones? Uh, I think there's four. Pretty sure. What's up, Braster? Smoked. All right. Uh, we can go... We already did that. I guess we'll run up to here and we'll be at the end of... Drink time for run number one. Yesterday I got trolled by a coyote and found a guaranteed troll whitetail in the same spot. You know, sometimes the game's just not kind. What's up, Jake? First 12 days of deer hunting season? I should do a 12 days of deer season this year. Which is... Actually, is no longer the case. PA's rifle season used to be 12 days long. It was, it spanned 14 days, but the two Sundays that it encompassed weren't, like, you couldn't hunt on Sundays. I think it's technically 15 days now, and 13 of them were huntable, or 14, might be 16 days and 14 are huntable. I think they should add baboons. Isn't the... one of the ambient sounds on Burhunga, I think, is a baboon, actually, so it would kind of work. Coyote missed by 0.11. I've always, like, predator trolls are the worst ones, because if it's a troll whitetail, you're somewhat prepared for it, because you can see the, uh, like, the rack is a small diamond or troll rack. But when it's a predator, you're literally just relying on the fact that it says level 9. So you're just like, could be max score, could be a troll. I don't know. What have I missed? Uh, nothing too crazy. We haven't shot anything even remotely big. But, you know, we're just cruising along, talking about what may be in the new update. We're testing the 338 versus the 300 a little bit. I've been surprised the 338 doesn't seem to have as much of an advantage over the 300 as I thought. We're looking at basically a difference of 16 expansion versus 14 expansion. The penetration stat being three different really doesn't make that big a difference, other than certain angles with the 338 you'll get double lung, where the 300 you'd get single lung. But if you're if you're hitting the same organs with the same shot, it just comes down to the expansion. No mies. All right, we can. Unless there's somewhere else quick to check, which actually we didn't go here, I think, and then we'll reset. Does anyone have any tips for calling in coyotes in game to hunt? They're annoying because they come in so slow. I would... Like, usually what I do is I try to... If it's for a mission or whatever, go to a, a drink zone. Doing things in the wrong order here. Go to a drink zone, try to spot one, and... Hopefully call it in and be where you can see it on its way in. Because if... If it's down over a hill or through some brush or whatever, it usually, at least for me, ends up feeling like it's not coming in because it's taking too long, and then I move and spook it, inevitably. Has the 338 released yet? Should be a week from tomorrow. Hope it's map-specific loadouts? That'd be a good idea. I feel like universal loadouts in Call of the Wild are kind of largely a thing, but... If you just, if you had that ability to set map specific loadouts, spend 20 minutes on it, whatever it is, and then whenever you switch, it's just there, that'd be nice. Should they add squirrels or the mechanic for raccoons to climb trees? The climbing trees thing is the difficult part because, I don't know if there's any big trees here, this one might work. Most decent sized trees in the game the trunk only has a hitbox so far up, so it ends right about there. All the way up, there's no more hitbox on this thing. So the collision and getting like an animal to not look terrible climbing something that there has there is no collision will be tough. And adding the hitboxes to the trees is probably a bigger problem, actually, because 
then the game has to render all these extra potential collision things, it probably wouldn't be good for frame rate, especially on console. On the first day of Flantromus, my Flantro gave to me one big meal. I feel like that has to be DD boys. I think hunting squirrels with a good mountain... Mountain what dog? Will be fun or running rabbits the beagles? I think it'd be fun. Should we just switch maps? We better do that. I wasn't gonna, but we'll switch back and forth. What's up, Kelly? Hope Ultima Hunter's a good game, because I see they're dropping an Africa map. Yeah, um, I think the biggest thing with them, like, it's gonna be hard to recapture the hype, I think. Because it's been, I don't know, two years since we first heard about it, maybe more. And it, it, we haven't seen anything from it yet. It's just really hard to, to look at that and think, like, yeah, it's, it's coming out soon. We have to pay for the 338. I already spent a lot for the first one. I don't want to pay for another one. I don't know for certain. Like, the the DLC itself should cost like 399 US, but I don't think it's going to cost you any in game cash, if that's what you mean. You never had it, Soup? What a champ. There was that one. We spooked a level three that was coming in this way, like right at the start of the stream. I don't know how I did that. The five round three three is gonna be buzzing. Uh, assuming that means good, then yes. Well, sadly for you, sir. That makes them dead really fast. We need the Bigfoot at least for Halloween. A Halloween event of some sort would be nice, right? What is this lake called? I don't know if it has a name. It's uh, right north of the... Uh, something Plateau of Southern Outpost. Loadouts would be awesome. I do agree with that. I think Autumn Hunter is dropping end of this year or early next. It was supposed to drop into last year, though. So, a year delay is concerning. If they get it right, like, if they're really taking the time to get it right and they do, then, like, take all the time you need. But it just kind of, like, it takes a lot of the wind out of the sails when something's supposed to happen and then it just, it basically goes MIA. If it's nameless, claim it as 12 Lake. I really thought it was quite fun to claim Mount Cluck in Wade Hunter. Uh, and name the chicken 12 Clucks Chuck. But the problem was, that particular chicken actually is a reference to a real chicken, so I feel like I can't actually dub his name for literally everybody. Just got a mouse on my way to check a truck him? With what? Yeah, like Second Intention. I was super excited for that. I thought that was going to be a fun thing to stream here and there, maybe some Saturday streams or whatever. Obviously, you were going to do a bunch of content on it. That's like five months delayed, we haven't heard a thing about it. You know if Fabled Piebald is still possible to get, or is it bugged? I thought it was supposedly fixed. Um, but I don't know for sure. The problem is, it turns out it is really rare, so it's hard to... Hard to know if it actually is working right or not. Six months since the trailer released? It was supposed to be October, right? October 20-something. I remember, like, y you had it all planned. You were going to have to miss a day of hunting to, to be there. Caught it with my hands. All right. Fair enough. Derek Carr is a saint. That'll be interesting. I saw they were already 18 million over the cap, so... There's going to be some deal restructures or some, some guys that ended up walking. That is insane, Paul. I was, ho I was trying to be on the... Uh, the Paul plan for how to get my my great ones. I was hoping to get the moose and black bear. You know, not back to back necessarily, but ideally before the spring update, and we have neither. What's the best spot for moose? Is it this place? I've always wanted a diamond moose. 
boy. Uh, Leighton's really good. Medved's really good. Reventuli's great. There's a lot of moves there. I might say it's Reventuli. I don't know when, but I, I'm probably thinking we're within a couple hundred kills of swapping to another map for our Great One Grind. I like Medved, but sometimes you need to change the scenery. Near 8k kills, God. I, I'm i a little over 5. I don't know if I can do 8. How many were post drink time change tonight? I wish Wade the Hunter would take the idea of adding deer starting from fawns, but you couldn't shoot them till they're old enough. But it'd be cool to see little button bucks. The only... Like, I'd like that. And you'd like that. The only thing is... That would then extend their life cycle for a little bit longer. And it means that it takes that much more time put in to see them reach like a shootable age. I think that's actually what kind of has prevented Way the Hunter from making it further. Is that it, it just does take a huge time investment. And while that's part of what makes it such a good game. It does kind of limit who can play it successfully. Sup, Rack? 6k after dark, you are... You are a more dedicated man than I, because I have had a hard time since they did that. Got my girl on Moose from checking track, something I picked up watching you. That is cool. I haven't had that yet. I've seen it, like, with the, the Red Deer, because I spotted it, went over there, and it had spooks, so I got to pick up his track and follow it that way. I really think not knowing it's there and hitting that track and seeing, like, whatever it is, 605 to 700 kilos, would maybe be a better, like, what is that called? Uh, heart in your throat type of moment. Is Shadow behaving herself? She's, she's doing good. She's actually passed out on her bed. I was over at my mom and dad's yesterday, and I got there, and it was just my dad there. And, of course, Shadow goes crazy. She has to run around, say hi to my dad, run around for, I don't know, 20 minutes after that. Finally lays down. My mom got home with groceries. Crazy again for 20 more minutes. Just starts to lay down. My brother and his fiance get there. Crazy for 20 more minutes. And then I had to go move a cell cam. So right about the time she got tired again, I took her for a several mile walk. So I think she's still recovering from all the craziness without a nap yesterday. But it was good. Good gun for killing red deer? Uh, I like to go with like the M1 or the 308. A lot of people just grind with a 300, but if you want to keep the uh, harvest checks, you got to go with something like the guns I mentioned. 303 is good, too. No bow hunter. Way the hunter actually lags less for me on the new map. Kyla has had some lag issues, though, and we have the exact same PC. So I don't know why. But she had, I don't know, an hour where the game was running at, like, 25 FPS? Even better, Cheeto. That would be nuts. You, I would... My luck with Great Ones has been... I wouldn't say it's been that bad. I haven't done nearly the grinding that some people have. But I haven't exactly had amazing Great One luck anyway. So if I did pick up a Fabled Fur to serve edge, I'd probably be like, is this a bug? Is this like a musty or something? Headphones broke. That's no good. Lift your head, sir. Thank you. Got them well trained. If they would just spawn their Great One friend, that would be good. It was, I picked it up off weight because it was a light brown for a type. Oh, so it was a common, uh, common great one? I wouldn't consider that either. Like, if I got a common fur type, I may not go and pick up the next track. Burn down my PC? Why? Mine's fine. Sometimes Way the Hunter feels unfinished? Really? In what way? I could very well be biased because I quite like it, so I'm genuinely curious. Why, when I level up, don't I get a new skill or perk point anymore? When you get to level 37, I believe it is, you stop earning a point for every single level. It will then become, I think, every other level. I think it's every... Every other level, every third. But then it's perk and skill point going back and forth, so... It ends up being something like every other level. I should do some grizzly hunting, you're right. I wanted to try their drink time on Yukon, but, you know, here we are, constantly chasing moose, and when we do take a break from that, lately it's been chasing black bear. By the way, uh, 
fun little, fun little Black Bear hunt coming out tomorrow. Really weird thing happened. Like, really strange. Not a great one, unfortunately. I'll spoil that much. But I was, like, concerned that my game broke for a little bit. What's up, Bo? What map are you on? We are on Medved Taiga. Uh, if you spawn a great one, would you shoot it now or wait till after the update because of the lodge bug? I'd shoot it now. I don't think the lodge bug is actually affecting the fur type of your moose what i think is happening is the like there's something scrambled in like what is supposed to be displayed in the lodge i don't think it's like rancho though where it's permanent that was a different thing kind of altogether because what actually was going on with the rancho one was some of the common furs were screwed up it was all it was because i think they added what did they do they added new textures for whitetail, bighorn, mule deer, and coyotes. That's what screwed all that up. Kyla's a uh, big diamond coyote that she shot in the video when she was visiting in my apartment July 4th, 2021, I guess it would have been, is an albino in my lodge now, which is really sad. Because I don't want to display what is what looks to be a super rare coyote, but isn't. Do you get an insight of what is in the next update before us? Other than, like, if I have early access for, say, 12 hours to record before I get to actually put the videos out? No. You're, like, holding a child over there. Uh, I shot a five-star moose earlier this morning and went back to the lodge to taxi me and it was gone. Did you, by chance, accidentally sell it? Because I know some people that have done that. Let's not talk about that, okay? <laughs> That's a sore subject. TK did it twice in, like, a couple hours. Is a pink pig rare? Yes, I think it still is. Definitely used to be. That's what I was thinking, Space Cowboy. There, there's some kind of... Probably a reference that's supposed to point to somewhere, and it ends up randomizing or whatever. I feel like we're missing Moose, to be honest. I thought you were switching maps. When did I say that? I said a couple hundred more kills, I would. I love the game, but it feels... Come back. Feels buggy with the antler stuff now. Antler stuff. Oh, the elk. Range finding going through an animal. Animals speaking way too easily. It just feels not to its fullest potential. Maybe this is... The current state of gaming in 2023. But... I, j I can't think of a game that I play that doesn't have... Like, Call of the Wild's got its consistent issues that you just find workarounds for. And I think you just get used to that. The big thing with Way of the Hunter is... They seem to fix them quickly. Like... This, this is New England, by the way. That bar below my binoculars? It's an overlay. It's an image. It's still there. <laughs> like... This is three months. I don't think we're going to have to wait three months for Way the Hunter's fix. So to me, like, I just don't see it as, as big an issue because they're really good about fixing their stuff in a timely manner. But, you know, you'd rather that Aurora Shores doesn't come out with the antler bug and the rangefinder thing and stuff, obviously. I'm with you there. You don't have the bar on PS4? What? Is there any chance that you're... I need to know if everybody on PS4 doesn't have it. Because I'm curious if maybe the way that your screen is displaying is actually hiding it. You do have it on PS4. The infamous bar. You know, if I could use copyrighted content, you know, it would be so much fun. <laughs> Just to make a short showing the bar and then playing Toby Keith's I Love This Bar. You can't tell me that's not a little funny. <laughs> You don't have it either, Jake. What? Some of you guys do, some of you don't? Now that is weird. I think that's probably a screen thing. Because a lot of TVs don't actually show the entirety of the screen. They're cutting off a couple pixels. They have it on consoles too, just hidden like you said. Yeah, it's probably the TV display. All about that view aspect, indeed. We were... When we were uh, in Breckenridge... One of the football games we were watching, I couldn't get the Steeler game on there. It must have been the Buccaneers game, because Kyla's stepdad's a Buccaneers fan. We spent, like, 12 years trying to get the aspect thing to 
show correctly to actually have the scoreboard because it was cutting off the entire thing. Where is level four? Dude, I, <laughs> my moves are so bad. If you ever wondered if I'm actually herd managing secretly, just look at how pathetic my moose population is and you'll see. I don't have a TV, I use a projector? That still could do it, but I wouldn't expect it to. That is really weird. And the fives? Yeah, right. I don't get diamond moose out here, what are you talking about? Or males. It would seem. Never noticed the bar until now that I've seen it, I can't unsee it. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it. I actually thought it would bug me more than it has ended up bugging me. Like, when I first saw it, I was like, please, just, just put out like a, a couple megabyte patch, fix that. It's going to drive me insane. I've gotten used to it, but... You know, again, it's an image overlay. It shouldn't really have to stay in the game for three months. I know it's not game breaking. Like, I get that there's probably more important issues they gotta fix. But it's also just one of those things. It's such a quick fix, too. Uh, do I like, call the Wild Away the Hunter the most? I know this feels like a lame answer, but like, it depends on. Depends on the day, and it depends on what I'm like hoping to get out of the playing experience the best example I usually give is like if I just if I just hunted all day like I sat out 11 hours you know tired probably still cold I'm probably just gonna want to play call the wild and shoot a bunch of stuff and have a good time but especially like this time of year I'm missing real life hunting way the hunters like I, I get so addicted to it because it's the closest thing I can get to real life hunting is borderline game breaking for some anyway I get you uh, Michael, what's going on, man? Thank you so much for the, the weekly super chat, as you say. I certainly appreciate it. You haven't missed much, man. We're just talking about all kinds of different things. The potential for what is this game-changing thing that Jackson Beard has mentioned that is apparently not the weapons coming with next week's high power pack. There's been everything from removal of need zones to loadouts to... What was the other suggestion we talked about that I thought would be good? Oh, no. I remember, I was like, that would be game-changing, and I forget what it is. <laughs> I prefer going outside and throwing rocks at the turtles. I like turtles. Do you like turtles, too? I guess so. Trail cams? It wasn't trail cams, I don't think. It was in that conversation, though. Ooh, that might have been a no shot. I don't know. Nope, we're good. Uh, your white tail mount looks really good. Shot a red high this weekend. Looking forward to venison backsteaks. Nice. Fresh as well? That's the best. We have the... One of the... One or both? I actually don't know because it's wrapped up in the freezer paper, but... We have the tenderloins from one of the deer I shot this past year in December. Uh, currently in the refrigerator, thawing for being in the freezer for tomorrow, and I'm excited. If all Fender's moose were in Way the Hunter, they would all be one star matures, right? It literally feels that way. Funny enough, I actually did see Giannis doing that, and I haven't watched a second of basketball in my life, but I just happened to see it on Twitter because I think Barstool tweeted it. Are you, are you currently drinking some Diet Dew? I drink Mountain Dew Zero Sugar, actually. It's much better than Diet Dew. It doesn't have that weird, like... The only way I can describe it is chemically taste. Which some people might argue that Mountain Dew in general tastes like chemicals, but, you know. Gotta do what you gotta do. Do we run this area? There's all this hunting pressure here, but I don't think we have. The great one's around the corner. I gotta peek around the corner of a lodge. Not a fan of diet sodas. I never was, but... I just, I really only drink one per day, and it's when I'm recording or when I'm streaming. And it's it's kind of just because I find that it, it helps my voice out a little bit. Like, if I just drink water, it's too thin, and I'll sort of, like, I find that my voice gets strained easier. But still, I don't want to be 
and taking all that sugar, so I go with the zero sugar. If you wanted a rare in the game, which one would you want and why? As in, like, wanting one added? I don't know if that's what you mean, but I'm actually going to take your question that way. Have you ever seen those whitetail? They're, I think they're probably technically piebald or leucistic, but they're normally still considered albino, because they have, like, the albinism, they have the pink eyes and everything. But a lot of them have still the brown, like, forehead patch. That would be a cool variant of albinos or leucistics or whatever the technical, um, you know, term is for what that would be. Tyler, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it, man. The dogs following things other than blood. That was it. You're right. I do like that. Mountain Dew, brake fluid, same thing. We had, what was that? When I worked at the college dining hall, at the college I attended, from like 2016 to 2020, I didn't attend it there. I worked there that amount of time. It's in high schools. Yeah, this would have been 2014 to 2018 would make more sense. Anyway, uh, there was every like lunchtime, there was some sort of like cleaner you had to put into the machine and it looked just like Mountain Dew. And the one day one of the workers was drinking Mountain Dew and we had like somebody about called the poison control because we thought he just got a hold of some of that stuff. What's up, Silent Juggler? Nothing special so far. Probably do it with the bar under the binos and haven't noticed it. I apologize. You know, if you're actually, you know what? If you're on a projector, most times, yeah, you probably wouldn't notice it because you don't have the black bar of the monitor underneath to then add that contrast. That does make sense, actually. Evan, I thought of that today. I was on Silver Ridge Peaks. I was recording a video for tomorrow uh, doing a little black bear grinding. And I saw, I didn't say anything out loud because like, I don't expect them to do it. But I saw some turkeys walking along in the dark. And I thought, you know what? Even if they don't roost, any turkey that's not in render of you should just despawn immediately at 1900, let's say. Because, like, they don't walk around in the dark. They go and roost in a tree. And if they want to, you know, make it simple, because I don't think we should be able to kill them from the roost anyway, just make them all disappear. It's a little bit immersion breaking to be running around at midnight chasing black bears and see a flock of turkeys just walking along. What's the most exciting thing you've ever encountered on stream? Would it be the piebald diamond whitetail? Maybe? That was a good one. It was such a brief encounter, though. It was... Like, it ran past. I saw the rack. I actually thought it was going to be a level 2, because at the time, level 2 Diamond Whitetail had the same, like, giant racks that level 3 did. So when I saw that it was a 3, and also this was at the time when the score estimates would actually predict the exact score. So we knew it was a diamond. All that happened, then he stopped, stood broadside, and we killed him. Like, it was really fast. I, yeah, that's probably a better one. That one was like heart pounding for however long. It wasn't a crazy long time from spot to kill, but there was. It felt like it was 15 minutes of like trying to get the shot. I, it was only like 30 minutes in. It was pretty quick. Yeah, but still. You had a bunch of people in there. I took a route that I didn't typically take. Which I think Acid said he was going to go that way or something. But he also said it was like a 160 when he saw it. So, <laughs> Did you have a super rare on Classic? I've got a couple. I actually had... So I think I'm on the gallery twice. But I've had three. So the first one that I ever shot, this is not in the gallery, was back when piebald feral hogs were actually rare. I shot an 1166 scoring piebald feral hog. And the cool thing was, I was actually only on Rougarou Bayou for a, if you guys are familiar with the Hunter forums, very often there were little competitions run by community members and there would be, you know, prizes from 500 EM to 5000 EM given out. 
it was a photo contest. And actually, this particular contest was a petition, more or less, to make the in-game camera, camera in Classic better. Because it sucks. It... It takes images in, like, maybe, like, 240p. It's terrible. So it was basically, like, get the best image with the in-game camera, and if you take the best best image, you'll win. So I set out, I actually was looking for a piebald hog, and I found one within, like, 10 minutes. It was really weird. And, like, there he was. So I take my picture, and I see the spotting in the top right, 1100 to 1200. And I just, like, I don't even think I was carrying weapons. I had to run back, I had to track him. I dropped him with a recurve, recorded it, everything. Like, it was it was the perfect scenario. And back then, too, I was really self-conscious about, like... I think it was because I was new to making content. I was really self-conscious about my shot placement and stuff. So when I made a drop shot with a recurve on this hog, it was like... That's exactly what I wanted to do. That, this is perfect. Shadow play didn't save the file. Or actually, I think what happened was it corrupted. It was like a one-second file. Even though I'd been recording for 20 minutes. So that was heartbreaking. But that's not why it's not entered. This was at the time when the Hunter Classic wasn't saving trophy shots properly, neither to your gallery, nor to your PC. So I don't have the trophy shot of that hog anywhere. The only thing I have is the hunt stats that shows I shot 1166 piebald, and that one terrible 240p image I took of him with the, the camera. That exists, if you go through my gallery, you can find that. Um, but I don't have any good image of it, so I didn't submit that one. That's the better story than Super Rares I do have. The other is two albino red hinds side by side. I could have entered the two piebald fallow does, but that's kind of lame. Uh, and then I've got... This one on stream, a 217 typical and 356 non-typical mule deer side by side. Should do a podcast. You know what I was thinking of doing? I think I'm going to do it. This hunting season, when I'm walking around, when I get to like locations where I've got good stories, I'm going to make either shorts or ju just three-minute clips for the clip channel. Just just telling the the stories. Because one of my favorite stories is the one I'll... Uh, what's I'll give you the cliff notes. I basically picked the, stand, picked the tree that I wanted to take my climber up but it had a limb in the way so a week before i was gonna go hunt there my dad came down with me cut the limb off with a chainsaw i was like 14 or something and then i figured i'd be able to get up that tree i couldn't i still couldn't get the climber around the limb so i just dejected as i was sat there if you've used a climber before you'll know you have to angle it at the bottom because the tree gets smaller as you go up so i'm sitting there at like 45 degrees and i just decided to call <laughs> and i did some grunting and stuff and this really nice 10 point came in and just roared at me just Bruh. and I I'm sitting there like an idiot at 45 degrees 5 feet off the ground uh, and the doe he was with busted me I maybe still could have got a shot if he was on his own but like I wanted I want to take you guys to that spot and just tell the, the quick little story I think that'd be really fun I missed that soup. Uh, so again, what makes the super rare in classic? Because in Call of the Wild is a diamond rare. Classic doesn't have medals. It's actually I don't know if who cares set the values actually, but who cares is the one that like at least used to. I think he still does. Uh, ran the used to be called. It wasn't super rare animals gallery. It was once in a lifetime kills or something. It's super rares now. But basically, there's a criteria. So it's um. For instance, I think it's Whitetail over 175. Mule Deer used to be 200, I don't know if that's changed. Blacktail over 190, and Rare, right? Um, then also, it used to just be that. It was either two Rares of any kind, or like a Rare that scored above a certain amount. Then, the ability to just have a top scoring animal that wasn't Rare got added in. So you could have two 175 Whitetail or a 175 whitetail common and a piebald doe. Those are, to me, lower tier super rares, but they're there and, you know, they're, they're counted, so what can I do about it? Anyway, now that I've been talking for like 20 minutes straight about nothing, just shot a Sir Scotter with a 308. Has anybody killed a five star one of them? I haven't seen that yet, if they have. Gonna start playing classic when it's done updating? Do it. 
It is such a fun game. There's a lot of like info to take in at the beginning, but it's well worth it. You need to have pics of your deer. No one believes that I shot a 220 typical whitetail, but it got up and flew away. <laughs> this is a true IRL story. I was gonna say, this sounds like Mitch Rampala. I don't know. Been grinding whitetail, but only have seven drink zones. Any tips for Leighton Lakes? <sighs> Leighton's tough because whitetail can be pretty much at any body of water anywhere on Leighton, so, and that makes it difficult to really hone in. What I would do, honestly, is just worry about getting the zones first for now. You could bring a gun with you and shoot some stuff as you see them, but I would just go around and try to find like 10 to 15 more zones. Take a four-wheeler if you want, and just like every time you see a zone track, jump off and see if it's a whitetail zone, that's an option too. But I think you'd want to like literally go everywhere. And you want to look for good zones. You don't want a zone that's like, you know, in the middle of a bunch of trees or something. That's, that's hard to hunt. I would try to find ones that are out in the open. Least favorite map in Call of the Wild. It was a tie between Medved and Hirschfelden for a while. Funny enough, I don't think it's either one of them now. It's probably, I hate to say it because it's new, but it's probably New England. I, I don't hate the map, but it just... There's nothing to strive for on it. Because of the other maps that exist and already have those species. I uh, have any map suggestions on buying my first map. Where would I recommend? Verhunga's fantastic, Silver Ridge Peaks is fantastic. I quite like Yukon. If it were me and I was buying my first one, I'd go Verhunga. Because it, it's such a different experience than any other map honestly can offer you. Other than that, Tayoro is a good one if you're looking to earn money, if you're still lower level maybe. I think New England over Mississippi. Mississippi has gators, at least, you know? Like, those are fun to hunt in spurts. New England just has nothing, sadly. Like, it. here's what I thought was gonna happen. I think New England was a waste. I thought Generally. New England's gonna come out and it's gonna be the best whitetail map or moose map or maybe both or black bear map. It's none of those things. It's just kind of like it's an okay map for a bunch of different species and Call the Wild's not like the Hunter Classic. The Hunter Classic has Whitetail on Settler Creeks. It has them on Redfeather, Loggers Point. Um, there's one more that I missed, Whiteheart Island. But because of the way you encounter species in, in Classic, hunting for a trophy, other than Settlers, I, I wouldn't go to Settlers, but hunting for a trophy Whitetail on any of those maps is perfectly reasonable. Call the Wild is all about efficiency. As far as grinding for great ones and stuff goes, New England just doesn't offer that, sadly. I wish it did. Like, I really, I wanted to love it. I thought I would, but it just doesn't have it. Gators are very annoying to kill. Gators make me mad. Uh, gators are a giant disappointment. I don't necessarily disagree with any of those things. I kind of think they should do them differently. But at least they're unique when it comes to Mississippi versus New England. That's what I love New England, or that's why I love New England, it isn't efficient. I'm with you for most, like, I understand what you're getting at there and stuff, and I respect that to be honest, but I guess when it comes to like, I've got two and a half hours, I want to make a video, New England typically isn't a good option for me to go to and expect to find something good. Nice for walking around, shoot what you can find, my favorite strategy. I love wandering style hunts and stuff, but I don't know why. Like, if I if I wanted to hunt a North America map, I'm probably going to Leighton over New England or something like that. I think they should have a great one, Grey Wolf with a Fabled Shadow. It could be kind of neat. I like it. And hopefully they would do them differently, Bree, but yeah. Ooh. Hello. Uneven because that's what happens, but maybe there's hope. Kind of looks like the the one that we shot that made it. You want to turn this way for us? That's not the gun I want to use. Big male. 
I don't think that's sorry in advance, actually, dude. That's sorry right after the fact. Diamond? I mean, he could be. I'm a little concerned that he's gonna troll because many of our uneven ones have. This dude is, like, determined to not spook. Or to not go alert, rather. Dude, what are you doing? It's not 1600. Will you turn around? There you go. Making life challenging. That is the same, I think, exact rack as our even uneven one that made it. Not gonna be hard to find out. <laughs> it is in advance of that, you're right. I know it'd be repetitive species wise, but being from here, I'd love to see an Appalachian mountain map. You might be able to come up with some unique stuff there, I don't know. Ah, uh, that lack of brow tide, I don't think he's gonna make it. I'm pretty sure it's actually the one in the thumbnail. Um. Hmm. I'm looking at my thumbnail. That might be the same. Game crash? I, I'd probably just ex accept that it would have been a troll anyway. Alright. Fingers and toes crossed. Holy! Why? I don't understand this game. I don't understand. Why is that 288? What about that is like 20 inches, whatever units bigger than other ones that for some reason are 260s? Big mail. Cool. Would be our uh, second biggest of the grind. We have a 298 that was max weight. Not bad. I'd love to compare. Oh, actually, what we'll do too is screenshot this just so I can see. Like, is the overall spread? Is it palm length, maybe? I just don't know what makes them actually different, but Diamond on the Moose Crown ain't a bad deal. Hey, thank you, Mel. That don't make no sense? Dude, like, I, I don't get it. How many diamonds you up to on the grind? Mm, let's see. Only four or five. Like, There's been like ten trolls, four or five diamonds, and I think seven piebalds? Big fella, you calling me? You call me fat? Hope for a great one soon. Hey, you know we can get a diamond and a great one in the same street. Now that's how the white tail went. Actually, that's how the red deer went too. I killed a smallish diamond. It's interesting. A max weight track. Killed a smallish diamond and then a great one within the next like hour. The white tail were much closer together. No, he had a bunch of pies and trolls. It's been weird. Like, I, I'd like one albino bowl. That would be cool. Any great one means yet? None yet. Uh, how do you feel about finding a great one and saving it for a later stream? Being upfront about this fact, of course. Wait, being upfront about this fact. Oh, I see what you're saying. You're asking me how I feel about, hey, I found a great one. We're going to shoot it later. It depends on the context in which it's done, because if you're exclusively a streamer and you find it off stream, that that's one thing, like, hey, we're gonna go back and get it. If it if it were me, it doesn't matter if I you know just finished recording a video, if I'm just planning on starting a stream, whatever. If I was fifteen minutes away from the start of a stream and I was moose grinding, I'd record killing it immediately. Because I want the initial reaction and stuff. I think that's more so what it's all about. But it depends on the um, the context that that would be done. What, like faking it soup? Is that what you're getting at? That'd be hard to fake the reaction for a great one. Because it's... It's not the same as finding a diamond. Finding a diamond is... There's some, like, a little bit of shock, like a little bit of... You know... I guess there's like a success, you know, we finally did it kind of thing in this hunt. Great one has like all these different things. It's the anticipation of trying to make the shot. There's the relief of the grind is over if you can make the shot. And then obviously there's the shot that it's actually there. What's up, AGR? Just joined for a while before I get back to what work. Appreciate you stopping in, man. 
Is that, uh... He's not. I wonder where that max weight one's at. Weird. He's going this way, and he's not at this lake. Maybe the river, then? Might as well take a peek. Not hard to get there. Ready for the rifle pack, because I don't have the 338 or the 7 mil. There you go. Do you think they should add muskox one of the snow maps? I would like them to do a map based in Greenland and add muskox, actually. What are you creeps doing back there? I didn't know there were any meese behind my tent. Miss Must Alive, anything good? We literally, like, within the last, I don't know, four minutes, five minutes, shot a diamond moose, the first kind of decent kill of the hunt. Actually, we had maybe killed, like, two level fours prior to that one. Not saying that it was a level four diamond, but, like, we hadn't even killed, you know, any, like, golds for the most part. Kyla's great one with the misfiring 300. That was something. I, I what try was... to be so calm, but like in my head, I'm like, if this wasn't going on YouTube, I would be cussing out of my mind. <laughs> you know, Kyla has this weird ability to get a great one right before we go on vacation for Christmas. Her red deer was the exact same thing. Like, within, I don't know, eight hours of us heading to the airport, the moose was a day and a half or something. But I was still prepping content. So, like, she finds this thing. And we sort of have this unspoken agreement that we just kind of, whoever doesn't have the great one leaves the room because then it's, it's easier, I guess, to, it just takes a little pressure off. You can be yourself as far as the recording, whatever. That's for Kyla. She doesn't like what I'm here. But with the great one specifically, like when I got my red deer, I more so wanted Kyla to take shadow out of the room because I knew my reaction would probably make her bark. But regardless, I have like recording and editing to do. And I leave and I just go like, I think I was laying in bed scrolling through my phone because like, what else am I going to do? And it's just going on and on and on. I'm like, what is happening? And then she finally opens the door. And I'm like, okay, good. Well, my gun misfired. It, I don't know where it went. Okay. <laughs> just lay there for 30 more minutes. She finally kills the thing. But it was, it worked out really cool the way it died. It was a really nice screenshot. How many great ones have you shot? Two. Would have freaked because I took my great one with the inline muzzle. Are you mad, lad? Didn't know there were mountain goats on Aurora Shores. Yeah, I, th I feel like that's an Alaska staple species. Them and doll sheep. We need doll sheep so bad. I'd love if they were added. I don't even like recording when Cole is home. You know what's funny? If you go back through my content, you can pretty well pinpoint exactly when Kyla moved here. Because I just, I didn't know I was doing it. But subconsciously, I just talked a little quieter, a little more controlled. And you know why I think it was? I was more afraid of messing up words. And then having to retake the line. And Kyla sitting over there like, this guy. <laughs> Sucks at YouTube. He can't even speak. I don't know when it came back to like full confidence, just send it. But... I, like, for most of September-ish on in 2021, up to sometime early 22, I'm speaking a lot, almost more softly. That would be so scary, Ender. Did you catch Spine as well? When you got engaged? Yeah, because then she can't leave, right? <laughs> Ready for... Oh, I think I read that, right? I did. Been grinding using the in line. What? So, like, taking one at a time, or just when it was a solo, you would take that opportunity? It's like a blurry bear sneaking behind that brush. Just long? Okay. Saw a video in your codex that you've harvested 20 great ones. So, basically, there was... Where did that other bull go? Let me, uh... Concentrate enough to take two shots here. I think the cow was in the way. Slow down, sir. I'm gonna issue you a speeding ticket for $12. Second shot was no good. Anyway, when Bloodhounds came out in March of 2021, they attempted to add that great one counter to your codex before 
that was there, or before that update, this column just didn't exist. So I think what happened was they tried to add the great one counter, but forgot to like, here's what I think's happening, right? When you harvest a diamond, the game says, you know, increase column one by one. When you harvest a gold, increase column two by one. But they screwed it up because they added the great one color or counter. So now column, I think great one's up here. Column one was now being increased when you got a diamond, but it was showing that you got a great one. So actually what this means is I killed 18 diamonds before they fixed that. The two great ones in that counter will be correct. 18 were from that. That's also why my diamond counter shows 1284. It's actually 984. This is one of the rare times they actually told us when an update was going to come out. So luckily, um, I knew that this had happened. I caught it within like a couple. And I had just streamed the day before. And someone asked me like, hey, what's how many diamonds have you killed? So I went back on that stream, found that, saw what my diamond counter was supposed to be. And then when we learned that the update was coming, I purposely shot enough gold to make it exactly 300 above what it actually is. So it's easy to do the math. Anyway, long story short, they screwed up the counters. I don't have 20 great ones. I have two. Be funny if it takes 12 times to get the great one, Moose. God, please. I'm not even halfway there. I've always thought 12, 12 diamonds to get a great one would be funny, though. What's up, Jake? Do you tend to track footprint slash stock or hunting structure and lore? Depending on the type of hunting I'm doing, a little bit of both. Usually, like, if I get a max weight track of almost anything, I'll follow it. Um, but otherwise, I'm hunting from from a distance, trying to spot and stock in a range or spot and just shoot from a distance. Wish there was a different mechanic for hunting a great one. A lot of people, me including, don't like grinding. We have on streams and just, like, when we're in our little group chats and stuff, we've been discussing, like... Oh, way to slow down and trot right when I shoot. We've been discussing what we thought would be good ways for something like that to be implemented. And it, it would be tough. But I think the best way would be random spawn when you launch the game. And therefore... That still wouldn't be great, because if you just fast traveled around to every tent... Nah. Never mind. I don't like that idea anymore. We had talked about, like, the ability to keep spawn mashing from, uh, from occurring there. How would you do it? Because what I was... What I was thinking with the random spawn would be... That way you don't have to grind? I don't know what the ideal solution is. Probably isn't one. What's your Hunter Classic password? If I'm hosting a classic game and it's passworded, I'm either recording in which I'm just putting random characters in, like that I usually don't intend for anybody to join those ones, or if I'm streaming on Wednesday nights on Twitch, if you join my chat and do exclamation mark password, you can get the password. I change it every week just because, like, I think it's easier to have a new password there than having people try to remember it. Like, it's more fair, right? Not that we usually fill up the game anyway on Twitch, but it is what it is. I want to do a podcast, but I just, I, it would be so hard to stick to it. Why? Because I already struggle to get the amount of content out that I currently go for. It would be unedited, I think, but... But then you gotta upload it, and title it, and description, and tags. And every single one of them's gotta have all those things. No, what well, you'd have to render it, which would sit there for quite some time. Okay. I guess if you just recorded in Audacity, but YouTube, now that they have a podcast section, which funny enough, it's not on my main... I can't find that on my main channel, but I can find it on my Clips channel. By the way, I have a Clips channel. Do you guys know that? Good times. Um... <laughs> Shameless plug. What was I saying? Podcast. Now that YouTube has a podcast section, like they've got videos, they've got shorts, they've got live streams, they've got podcasts. Can't find that on my main channel, but maybe they would accept audio-only podcasts. They didn't like that before. 
if you like if you just did an, an image in a podcast, they they weren't a big fan of that being a thing. Uh Josh, well, thank you for the super chat. Yeet indeed. Appreciate the support. Thank you, man. I don't know, CJ. It wasn't a great one track, so I'm not terribly concerned about it. I thought it might show up on this river, but it didn't. Do you think they'll add compound or recurve bows the way the hunter? I would imagine so. I don't know why this remote is it Nanette? Is that the name of the reindeer herd you can't shoot? Them just being there reminded me of that. I should do a Meat Hunters podcast? We actually tried to do that. TK and I did it for a couple of episodes, but it was in hunting season, and like again. It just what ended up happening was I'd be uh, it would cost me hunts, right? So the podcast was, I think it was from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. On like Thursdays or something. But, like there's just enough room in the way that I, you know, have my schedule laid out that I can record before I would go hunting. But I'd usually be recording or wrapping up recording at like 2 p.m. So instead of being done with the recording and just editing when I get home from hunting, then I have to like finish recording before I get home, then I'm up late editing, then I don't get to bed on time, then I miss the Friday morning hunt. So that wasn't too good for my uh if I wanted to make more hunting content like I got a, a new podcast but I got a little bit less actual hunts in what's up Ray thank you man you stream call the wild on twitch too yes uh usually the Friday streams are call the wild or way the hunter much like the Monday streams I try to do one of each per week so most likely uh it will be way the hunter again this Friday Maybe next week we'll do Way the Hunter. Ah, I probably won't because it's going to be right after... How are we going to do that? Yeah, maybe. Maybe next Monday can be Way the Hunter. Because Tuesday should be the release of the High Power Pack, whatever they call it. And I'll probably stream again Tuesday. We'll see. Do it on Sundays when you're not hunting? I'd have to... Well... Maybe. Usually that's like, go over to my parents and visit with family day. But maybe I could do it before or after that. After wouldn't be a good idea. Usually I get home late. The moose collar is just hilarious. Like the, the warning call for the cows. And football. Yeah, true. It wouldn't be good in football season. That's why I don't do Sunday streams <laughs> during football season. Because I, like, always go and watch football. It's just like a family event, you know? Sundays equals foot all. Being flirted during the update? Yeah, the good news is it's not like a new great one or a new species that everybody's going to be flocking to go after. You know why I don't sable? And this might sound really stupid, but the term great one to me is almost like sacred. I don't use it in titles, I don't put it in thumbnails, I don't put images of great ones in thumbnails unless I actually got a great one because if I do, like I want people to watch it, I want people to get to share in what is a really cool moment, but if I've put a great one in every live thumbnail and every video thumbnail for the last three months, unless you really look closely, you're not going to know the difference and you might not click it, right? So for me, it's really important to only have the, the title or the image if it actually happened. Meat Hunters Football and Outdoor Podcast? I don't know. So I'm concerned about doing a football cast. I was actually thinking for the 2023 season that I might do some kind of like weekly picks or something and I know I'd end up looking dumb because I don't follow every team close enough. I wouldn't research it close enough to be like, th there was a good example this past year. I didn't realize Kyler Murray was hurt and the 49ers were favored by like 10 and I bet on the Cardinals because like it's a divisional game. They're going to keep it close. Meanwhile, you know, Murray's hurt and they lose by 25 or something. So that that type of thing would inevitably happen in a picks cast. But my concern is I don't know if you can use the, like, I wouldn't use the images, but I don't even know if the NFL would be like, hey, you're uh, infringing on the copyright here. I don't think they could, but they're pretty serious about that stuff. Because of this, we like your personality so much. I hate it when some streamer put a great one or even 100 great ones in the thumbnail. I mean, there, there's a balance to it somewhere. For me, it, like I said, I just like... I don't want to 
I really try to make nothing misleading in, in titles and thumbnails, but it's more about wanting to save... Finally getting to put Great One in the title and putting the Great One on the screen in the thumbnail for when it happens. But, like, I get why people do it. There's some degree of competition out there if you're trying to get your stream to stand out and you've got 50 Great Ones in your thumbnail, maybe it'll stand out, but... Yeah, I think in that way I stand out by not doing it. I... I I'm not gonna disagree with the mail. I didn't say it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> this is why we need a podcast. Exactly, Clark. Now, I don't know if I could say, like, hey, uh, Steelers are playing the Bengals this week. The Bengals are favored by two and a half. I'm taking the Steelers because I can't bet against the Steelers because that'll make them lose because for some reason in my brain, I think even if I don't watch the game, that then I'm not rooting for them hard enough and then I make them lose. <laughs> but uh, can, can I use the names? But then, like, that's hard to watch. Just having graphics on screen. Like, if you guys have noticed, when I, when I cover EW streams, I'm always, like, changing what's on screen. Because that's important for people that are maybe not super engaged with it. So if I don't have, like, the logos on screen and stuff, that'd be tough. I could probably use the words and the colors, but that starts to get kind of fuzzy with how it works. I intend to, Soup, but having done the testing today, I don't know if the 338 is going to be making a gigantic difference. Stillers. So the real question is, Blitz, is that four year 150 million like a hundred percent true? I guess it would be. Sometimes what those contracts actually are is like two years 80 million or 70 million, and the rest is like easily team gets out of those years kind of things. Say your favorite football team's name. I, I mean, I'm saying Steelers like a Pittsburgher. I say Steelers, but a lot of Pittsburghers will say Steelers. They'll also say uh, Don Ton and uh, stuff like that. Just started playing this game about a month ago, and your videos really helped me out. Made to level 20, trying to unlock the Moose Call now. Thanks for your videos. My pleasure, man. The, I remember that. I was like good memory you randomly brought back trying to unlock the the colors and stuff what is it level 28 for the moose collar I think it certainly helps when you have lower caliber weapons being able to call them in a little closer really flank flank <laughs> flank walk <laughs> wonder where he's gonna end up is Pittsburgh just discount Boston no Boston's discount Pittsburgh. How dare you? I don't think they'll do it because they're already paying Watt big money and they consider Alex Highsmith good, but I would like if he came to Pittsburgh. Literally the first Mountain Goat I spot was a five-star. Hey, nothing wrong with that. Good start. Did we kill both of them? We did. Got a legendary red deer floating. Nothing like sitting there just waiting to find out what you shot. I've had a tour of Heinzfeld, it was really cool. I don't know if I've ever been to Heinzfeld. I've been to PNC Park plenty. I've never actually been to an NFL game. Been to college football games and stuff. The problem is, like, stadiums give me such a migraine, I wouldn't enjoy it. We went to the rodeo in, um... Is it Reliant or NRG? I think it's NRG now, it may have been Reliant then. Or maybe I have it backwards. The one in Houston, anyway. And it was cool, I had never been to a rodeo before, but the headache was just not worth it. NFL games are mid, you're mid. <laughs> there you go, Eric's got it. Yin's going downtown to the Steelers game. <laughs> how do you, how do they say from Manny Brothers? Because it ain't like that. 265 on the dot, nice. I think all three of the moose we just killed might add the 265. Unless it's in a place like No Bias but Lambeau Field where it isn't huge, that might help. Heinz Field isn't huge, huge compared to some, but probably would be a little bit smaller. 
That's not incredibly far from Park ACJ, but I guess that would be different enough. Permani Brothers. <laughs> I like it. Imagine the headache Arrowhead would give you. Yeah, I would never go. As much as it would be cool to see Mahomes play in person, I'll watch him on TV. AT&T Stadium is better. The house that Jerry built. What map would you want next? I really think Greenland would be cool. I'm rooting for that. Uh, Nevada Outdoors, thank you for the super chat. Are you a fan of Pat McAfee? Absolutely. Did you see the video where apparently Connor pooped his pants? <laughs> if you haven't seen that, look that up on Pat's channel. Um, anyway, yes. I, I usually don't watch the entirety of the live show. I watch their clips a lot. If I have time, like on days where I'm done recording, say at like 1 o'clock, and I'm just chilling, maybe I'm grinding bears or moose, or I'm trying to advance age cycles and weigh the hunter, then I'll typically tune into the live show. I hate missing, like, the beginning, because the beginning is usually the good part. Actually, the end's kind of the better part, because they start screwing around more, but the beginning's got all the news and stuff, and I'm looking for that content. It's NRG Stadium. Mercedes-Benz is fantastic. They do literally all the things. Don't talk about other streams, it's rude. I actually thought you said other teams, and I thought you were talking about everybody naming stadiums they were in Hinesfield. Oh, no. Too many football things. We have nine minutes left. Yikes. At least we killed a diamond. Tis the Falcon, Space Cowboy. It's where they hosted the national championship this year. Did they always? No. It was just this year. I think they rotate. I don't know. You watch college. Yeah, but I'm not there in Georgia to know. The Saints have Mercedes Benz? No, that's the Falcons. Saints is... What is the Saints? Hunt some tins and bottles? Reminds me of the beginning of uh, Alaskan Adventures. Saints Stadium. Caesar's Superdome. Yeah, it is Superdome. I've, I've almost... I've never heard the beginning. I'm sure it hasn't been Caesars the entire time, but nobody calls it that. Probably like I've been calling Heinz Field Heinz Field the entire time. It's actually Accursure Stadium. Nobody calls it that. It just got renamed to that, but still. If I'm right, Cowboys play the Steelers this year? I don't think they played the NFC East. Unless that's the 17th game or something. Now I'll look it up. Steelers schedule. Last time they played, um, it was like the Hall of Fame game or something in preseason. They got AFC South. Looks like NFC West. Yeah, no Cowboys. You guys should buy air guns slash airsoft replicas and shoot some stuff with them. Like, shoot real things with them. Not sure what I would shoot with them. If I had an airsoft rifle, it might be able to kill a musk deer, though. If you still do Throwback Thursday, you should play Cabela's Dangerous Hunts 09. Is that on PC anywhere? Because that's where, like... You may know this, but I'm sure someone out here doesn't know. That's where the name Flincher comes from, and I feel like I should do a playthrough of that. Call it as soon as the stream's done, the Great One will spawn. I've, you know, often wished that would happen, just because that would mean I'd get a Great One. The question is, do I hit go, do I hit the Go Live button again, or do I record it? Shoot a goldfish, like shooting fish in a barrel. The alerts would get screwed up, and I feel like a lot of people would miss it and feel bad. Because YouTube wouldn't know what to do with that. No, you have to play Dangerous Hunts recording from the Wii? That was, uh, yeah. That was how I had Dangerous Hunts 09. Got my first five-star Bighorn. Nice, dude. I love them. They're they're so well done. Hi, Shadow. She knows. Uh-huh. Almost done. Play with me now. Flentro, do you... Are you going to shoot the great one with the bow? That's the plan. Tracking a... 
a what star adult bighorn? Something's messed up there. Uh, when's the new... Like, the, the new weapon pack coming out? Should be a week from tomorrow. Three star, that makes more sense. I don't know if you guys can hear the insane sound Shadow's making. It's because she has a... We just call it, like, a... It would be a replacement for a rawhide bone. It's like a beef cheek roll. And they're sort of hollow, because they're rolled, right? And it's just like she has a megaphone and makes her sounds louder. Did you throw it in her water? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Excited? It would land there. I know. Excited for the new pack? Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really excited for the 7 mil for hunts unrelated to grinding. And maybe, like, grinding whitetail and stuff like that someday. But, um... The 338 for the moose and bear, I think, is going to be quite nice. Got my first super rare was a diamond piebald red deer, no herds management. I think I saw you post that. I'm pretty sure. Thought it was ducks in game. <laughs> kind of does sound like ducks. This is why you catch the live stream so Shadow can go full diva. You are a diva, that's for sure. I was saying earlier in Discord, somebody was saying, oh, Caleb was saying his new dog likes cheese, and I said that Shadow likes cucumbers, but only if Kyla peels them first. She won't eat them if it's got the peel. And I made the point that it's basically her world and we're just living in it. I personally use a 338 in real life, so I'm very excited for it. That's cool. It's always nice to be able to use the same caliber, at least, to use in real life. If not, even the same model. I'm sure some people out there have, like, really similar guns in real life. I mean, I used to do that in Classic, and I can still do it with the 7mm Mod 8 to a degree, but it's much different. But I hunted with a Marlin 336-3030 for years, and the, is it called the Liberator? No. The Liberator's the engraved one. Whatever. The 3030 base model in Classic is very similar to a Marlin. So, it just, it was really cool to like, hey, first day of rifle season hunt, let's go and shoot a big male with the 30-odd 16 gate, or the 30-30 in game, and uh, maybe that'll inspire me to get one in real life. Shadow's world and we're all just living in it? Absolutely. I still, maybe she'll still do it. I got an okay pic of her standing up on the arm of my couch, looking at the buck mount on the wall. She was very unsure about the new visitor to the house for quite some time, but uh, she seems to have gotten used to it enough that she it doesn't bug her but it was really funny every time she'd go past you look at it like you're not gonna move are you i used the bolt action 308 so nice to get one in game there you go rogers of the raiders i just can't see it lamar to the jets that'd be wild you know what's funny i can't decide if i want the ravens to pay lamar or get rid of him because he's such like a scary threat on every play to just, you know, blow the game wide open and kill you. But he's got a losing record against the Steelers. And I actually don't think if they do pay him nearly what he wants, that they'll be able to maintain a good enough team around him to actually win a championship. So, like, if they pay him, at least he's going to have to get far better as a pocket passer to be able to get him where they want to go. But if they move on from him, Tyler Huntley I'd usually plays better against the Steelers than he does, so I'll also have to, you know, wonder who they get next. Rodgers to the Packers. No way. Holy. I guess we'll go back to the lodge with our demo because nothing here. Broncos country. What do they say now? Buck up. Ravens just keep picking up the Chiefs to get released. $20 on the grab and Frank Clark and letting Lamar go. Ooh, that'd be interesting. Was I know Marcus Peters was a Chief at some point. Wasn't he a Ram too? I don't know where the Ravens ended up getting him. It could happen. <laughs> Let's ride, which is just cringe. It was that. Sean Payton's trying to switch it up to, uh, to buck up. Do we have... I think we have a troll in here. Pretty sure. Nope. 
I could have sworn I mounted one to be able to compare, and I don't know what I did with it. These are both diamonds. Well then, I don't know. Not that important. Chiefs to Rams to Ravens? Okay. Can you show your video settings? Yeah, I actually... I, they're on, like, high or medium. I intend to, later this year, just get, like, a really good graphics card, just drop some money on it, and be able to play all my games on Ultra. Because Wade Hunter, I'm playing on medium. This 3060, like, it's fine. But I know I could have much better quality, so I intend to do that. You know what's funny, too? I lag a lot in Classic. What? The one I want to get is $1,200? The cost of the PCs we have is $1,700. What? Just about. That's why we're running on medium. It's my bank's fault. How long would you say it's taken for you to put all those animals in that lodge? This is the just the grinding lodge, so... Total game hours between the red deer and the black bear and the moose, probably, I'd say 500 to 600 hours. The other lodge, though, which we can take a walk through as we wrap up, that's got to be the culmination of two to 3,000 hours. $1,200, that's a camera lens? You're a camera lens. And by that, I mean, uh, I don't know. <laughs> this lodge also I lag in, which, again, more reason to... Get a better graphics card. But yeah, this one is many thousands of hours. Have you seen the five-star caribou? Can I? You can. Kyla shot one today, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> they look... Make it. They look very good. This is a reindeer rack, but same thing. The, the antlers on the reindeer and caribou and call the water the exact same. It's fine. But they have nothing on Five Star Caribou in Wade Hunter. And eventually we'll find one, I'm sure. But that was one of my, like, qualifiers for, like, is Aurora Shores the best Alaska map in any hunting game? How good are the caribou? Top tier. So I'd say yes. Anyway, is Kyla just better hunting games? I mean, she has more great ones than me. She's got more five stars, at least on Aurora Shores, than me. All the cool stuff she would kill in Classic with, like, no effort at all. Meanwhile, I couldn't kill anything good. Yeah, but you got all kinds of cool stuff. <laughs> I'd say yes. Anyway, on that note, can we mount our great one? Huh. Nice. <laughs> From here, that's going to do it for this stream. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the support today. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video back here in Call of the Wild on the Black Bear Grind. Bye!